Dear visitors, I'm your host, Vegas, and this is the Paper Theater. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to call these videos, but here's another Fashion by the Book outfit video. Alright, today's outfit by the book is based off of the cover for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children which is a book that I actually have read this time and I loved it because I read the entire series, all three books. The only book I haven't read is The Tales of the Peculiar. And also, just to let you know, Ransom Riggs is coming out with a new series based in the same world, so it still has the time loops and the peculiars. But it's going to be set, I think, in New York instead of in England, like this set of stories. Also, if you've seen the film, I highly suggest that you also read the book. The film is beautiful. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It's an awesome movie. Tim Burton has a beautiful vision. He has a beautiful way of seeing the world that I enjoy greatly. But his vision isn't exactly the same as the author's, right? Ransom Riggs has created a wonderful series of characters, and not all of them are explored in the movie, because often with movies, directors take liberties and they change things. So, read the book. Anyway, as per usual, let me know what you think, tell me how you feel, and also maybe talk to me about how you feel about the differences between the book and the movie. Yeah? Do you think there's going to be more movies? There's a series of three books, right? Who knows? Anyway, without further ado, here is the video. Hello. Well, you know, I already said hello, but now it's time for voiceover. Voiceover, woo! Anyways, so as you obviously could tell that I, I actually have read this story, and yeah, I actually I really like this book. Um, I thought it had a really realistic depiction of how someone would react to such a situation. You know, they would think they went crazy. They would have post traumatic stress. You know, and all that jazz. Anyway, so I chose um, the hairstyle and like the position of the the model. Um, I picked kind of like a, an older hairstyle, tried to make it kind of, you know, 1940s, World War II era-esque, I guess, um, with her modern dress, because that's what Fashion by the Book has, the modern outfit. Anyways, so right now I'm trying to do some nice dramatic eye sh shading, like I gave her a really long, dramatic face, she's got her eyes closed in this one. Because I wanted her to look kind of, you know, old Hollywood-esque as well. Um, yeah, I think this one turned out really good. Um, I think it's a little bit better than the other one. The other one I had so much trouble <laughs> with uh, the coloring. But this one's a lot smoother. Probably because my, you know, my markers were not drying out at the time. <laughs> Anyways, I'm doing some dramatic eyelashes, which is something I don't normally do. Only when like their eyes are closed do I get in and do like the little, the little bits of eyelash, you know. Normally I just, uh, just, just a line and I let the shading do it, do the walking, you know, <laughs> take over kind of thing. So you can see like I didn't actually use, um, black for the eyelashes. I used like a dark blue. 
like a Prussian blue, and then I go over it with a little bit of brown so that it's not so blue, 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 blue. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit nicer. Because, you know, even though your eyelashes are black, which is true, most eyelashes are like very, very dark, right? And we put black goop all over them. I still don't think black is like a real color. You can't penetrate it. It's too solid and flat when you use it in art. So that's why I choose uh, darker colors, just like um, browns and blues and stuff. I was really happy with this hand. I just have to say, I like the hand that I gave her, because, you know, I'm not the best with hands. But this hand, I was really happy when I drew it. And I was like, yeah, that's an awesome hand, because she's like doing some sort of like weird like folded thing with her fingers and I was like yeah it looks like a hand amazing and then I got and then like you know the shape of this arm turned out really nice and I was just like yeah this is looking good and I made her all dramatic with the shading and everything so I was really happy with that like look at that hand look at those fingers it's amazing Hands are hard. No matter how many times you practice them, they are hard. Because normally when you practice them, you don't practice them attached to the arm, right? A lot of times I see things, videos like, hand practice, this is how you draw a hand, but it's not attached to the arm. Because I can draw hands, but the moment I attach them to anatomy, to like the wrist, it's like, wait, what? happen to that hand you know it needs to be attached to an arm right and then it always looks weird when you stick the hand onto the arm and like I said you get all like what's going on so I had some as you can see right here like some of the drawing is cut off I had a little issue with my camera as per usual I didn't realize that I wasn't in frame when I was doing that one part of the leg, which sucks because I can't really see what my camera's recording because I have it turned the other way. You know, I'm just like, here, record color. But yeah, as you can see, there is another figure in this picture, but I'm only coloring the one because the second figure is actually for the second book. So this figure is for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and the other figure is for the second book in the series. So I'm only coloring this lady right now, not the figure beside her. In fact, at this point in time, I haven't colored the other figure. Probably because my cop, like my copy mar markers are all like dead or dying because in the winter time my house is super dry and it's really hard for them not to all dry out on me because my house is super dry but anyway so here I'm doing the hair and I think it turned out okay like it's not it wasn't my favorite it turned out really blocky like like I said, I don't have a good selection of browns. And I'm like, well, she's gonna be a brunette. Because, you know, 1940s. <laughs> right? Yeah. But anyways. Like I said, I don't have a good selection of browns. They always dry out on me. I don't know why. But anyways. So here I am going in with all the browns, but like... Like I said, it came out a little blocky. A little blocky for me. I wanted it to be kind of softer and it turned out really strong and like dramatic. But anyways, I went with it. Now it's time for me to utilize every single shade of gray I have because it's all gray. Well, there's a little yellow in there too because you gotta give it a little bit of oomph. A little bit of oomph, you know? Because the covers, of course, as you saw, for Miss Peregrine are all black and white photos. 
because that's what Ransom Riggs uh, utilized, right? Was the back of what? Photos that he found, and then he created these amazing stories around them. Anyway, so I know I popped in some color by giving her brown hair, but that's not the part, that's the cover. She's wearing the cover, right? The outfit is the cover. Though I did cheat a little bit and put in a little bit of color. But shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Secret. Anyway, so here we go with uh, all the grays I have going from like C3 to C6. Because it's cool gray, not warm gray. Because warm gray's got that touch of brown. Anyways, and then getting all nice and dark in there. Going super dark. Anyways, I really, really like the way that I captured this top. Like, it was the first time me drawing some sort of spandexy top thing. I know the lines probably aren't exactly anatomy, like, correct anatomy. Anatomy. Blech. I can't say that word right now. Anatomically correct. There. Got it. Anyway. But, you know, I enjoy drawing clothing. I know some people hate it. I know some people just prefer to draw a bunch of naked people. I've seen it. But I really like the shape of clothes. I like the drama that it creates with the lines, all the different intricate details. And I was like, cool, even though I kind of, you know, made her boob look weird. I thought it looked pretty cool. I thought it looked good. Because it's a little loose, right? And yeah, it's not super tight on her. So it's got some wrinkles. Yeah. It has volume. Let's go with that. Volume. Anyway. So I did a lot with the top. Now we're going into the skirt. Woo, skirt. And here I go with my colorless blender. Because I like to lay that down first. Just to like moisten the paper. Okay. Moisten. But anyway. I just helps the first layer of the marker go on real nice and uh, soft and then you go in with your darker shades and whatnot and it's just a really nice like base thing going on I was really proud of this skirt too like more so than the top because the top I'm like eh there's some issues but the skirt I was like yeah that flow is nice yeah got a nice flow to it it goes around your legs like it's got some good dimension going on. Yeah. It's also the second time, like, I've never attempted to, like, really draw this kind of fabric before. You know, the, the sporty exercise wear-esque fabric that... So, you know, I was super excited and stoked. It's a challenge. I like to challenge myself. Yeah, here I go. Like, the skirt turned out real nice. I like the skirt. I like the skirt, and I like that arm. And I'm like, yeah, looks nice. Anyway. Once again, all the colors in my grayscale, but this time I didn't put any of the yellow in, as you see, so that there's a difference. Right, because the skirt's meant to be slightly lighter than the top, so the top's nice and dark, and it's got that little bit of yellow to give it a little extra dimension. And then the skirt gets a little bit more white in it, right? Because it's a bit lighter, so it gets a bit of lighter colors, not so dark and dramatic in areas. Yes. Right? If you heard a little jingly bell right then, that was my cat. He's come to visit me. Alright, here I finally realized that, like, stuff was out of frame, so I, like, pulled stuff up, and I'm like, oh yeah, I got color, I gotta fix that hair, because like I said, I didn't really like the hair, but anyways, I gotta do the boots, gotta do those boots, and I think my memory gets full at one point, and you lose me finishing the boots, and that kind of sucks, but yeah, and the boots, once again, great! Her feet turned out super tiny. As you can tell, like, she has these really tiny body and this kind of giant head. <laughs> it still looks cool, but it's not proportional. Because look at how tiny those feet are. Oh, 
Something just spooked my cat and he jumped. Goodness. Anyway, so here I am doing the boots. The boots are really dark because they're meant to be black. But like I said, I don't use black. And there, like I said, my memory got full and you missed the finish of the boot. And there she is! Ta-da! This Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children! Number one. The first book in the series. By Ransom Riggs! Anyways, bye!